Welcome to On Microsoft, conversations and tips from IT pros and developers across a wide range of Microsoft programming, systems, and software issues. You can access related resources, recommended reading, special offers, and more when you visit the On Microsoft Resource Center at informit.com slash Microsoft Center. So, Luca, one of the things that's always been sort of intriguing to me, and I've heard other people sort of echo this sentiment as well, uh, is how features make it into the language. Over in the Java space, where I spend half of my time, we've just recently gone through this, Java 7's coming out, and they've added, you know, there's there were a few things that were sort of introduced by guys at Sun, mm -hmm. and there were a few things that the community sort of contributed. There was this yeah. project called Coin for small language changes, get it, <laughs> small change. <laughs> I don't make this up. Um, but I think people are, you know, that over there is supposed to be an open and, you know, mm -hmm. sort of democratic process. Mm -hmm. And to a lot of people, the way languages get designed at Microsoft seems to be very clandestine and secretive and, <laughs> you know, guys with black hoods, you know, meeting yeah. in, in the basement of Building 40. Yes. So walk 41. me through. 41. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I guess you guys moved since the last time I was at one of those meetings. Um, so assume that I have this really cool idea for a feature in C Sharp and I want to try to get it into the language. You know, who do I bribe with wine or scotch or whatever yeah. to, you know, walk me through the process. Yes. So the best way to, to suggest things, not about the language, but about the, you know, all, all the things that we do in general, is going through the Connect site, mm -hmm. the Connect website. And uh, we read all the suggestions that are there. We read all of them. That's connect.microsoft.com? Yeah, I don't remember the exact URL. Okay. Uh, I think it's connect.microsoft. It might be, yeah. Um, I should actually know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we read everything that goes through that pipe. Mm -hmm. We have a huge amount of feature requests on, on the languages, on mm -hmm. C Sharp or VB. Huge amount of suggestions, like we have hundreds mm -hmm. of those suggestions. If we put all of them in the language, you won't be able to write a single line of code because mm -hmm. it would be a complete mess. So, so we, we read all of them and we, and we try to reply to all of the people that give us suggestions. And, uh, but then obviously we cannot just take them and put them in, in the language because there are too many of them. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, very many times, uh, it, the funny thing about the language is that the language is this complex beast in which if you add something, it has an impact on everything else. Mm -hmm. If you add var, for example, then uh, suddenly, you know, everything that you're doing for each loops uh, and how you declare, uh, everything changes. Right. So right. we have a very high bar to add things into the language. Uh, the way we decide how to do that we look at, at uh, we try to look at all the suggestions that are on Connect. We try to look at our interaction with customers when we go to, to conferences. Uh, you know, we, we look what other languages are doing. We, we have all these inputs and we take all of them and we try to channel them in, in their, their, their core, their basic thing, mm. y y y you know? Uh, for example, with Link, uh, the way we started was, uh, well, people need to be able to access databases in an easier way. Sure, sure. But then we say, all right, then why just databases? Uh, isn't the concept more general? Is there something even more that what people are asking us? Kay. Is there, a, you know, and so we went and we, we look at the core and in the end, the core of that was adding functional operators to the language, mm. you know. And, and, and that satisfies all of those requests and all of, the, all of those scenarios. But it's a small thing that, that you know, that, that is incremental. Very often we do s these kind of things. Mm -hmm. we, we look at all the inputs and we, t uh, to be honest, too, I, I don't know how Java can, can uh, design these things more by committee. You know, the language is such a, you know, it's something that it, it has a, its own personality, its mm -hmm. own, uh, you know, uh, consistency rule. When you program, you can feel 
if a language has been taught off, if there is mm. kind of a single mind behind that mm. have, y y y you know. So that's what we try to do. We try to get right. all the input, and, and sometimes we don't introduce features, even if they are good for programmers, it's just we don't find a good way to put them in. Mm -hmm. You know, we, they are very good. It's a perfect scenario. Great. We should be solving that. We mm -hmm. should. But simply, we, we cannot find a way that, that, that is consistent with all the rest of the language and doesn't introduce more problems that it brings. Okay. And so sometimes people come in with fantastic ideas and they solve real scenarios and are really good. And we look at it, we try it, we go to the whiteboard, uh, you know, for weeks uh, and we, we just just doesn't fit. We cannot make it up. So do you have, um, um, I mean, I'm putting you a bit on the spot here, but do you have an example of a feature recently that, you know, really looked good, but yes. just didn't fit? I mean, we, we, we have been trying for, for uh, we have been trying for, for a very long time uh, to, to add the immutability to, mm. to the language C Sharp and VB. And, and we have, uh, you know, very many proposals on how you can easily specify a C sharp or VB class uh, to be immutable. So and this would we be looked sort of at like it for a long time and we still haven't figured it out. So this would be kind of a const for C sharp. Something kind of like thing? that. Something now that you, we move to this parallel, uh, more distributed world, mm -hmm. immutability becomes much more important right. than it once right. was. Right. And uh, right. very many people and I will count myself into that, say that that's going to be the way to write code mm -hmm. moving forward. And so, so we, we see that and we want to, for that to be easier in C Sharp. Right now, for example, you can, if you write an automatic uh, property, you, 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 it can just be read and write. It cannot mm -hmm. be just uh, read. Uh, and uh, if you write a class and you want to make it immutable, you start, uh, you know, writing read-only and, and, and things, but it's, it's all very cumbersome and, 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 and complex. And you well, need to and do it gets it, even know. worse because, you know, in C Sharp or VB, if you've got a property that returns a reference to an object, even if the <laughs> reference is immutable, <laughs> you, you can go through the reference to get yes. to the object. I mean, there's a lot of people. So, so we, we, we did, uh, yes, yeah, so we had uh, all these proposals and such, and we have, uh, you know, people on Connect telling us to do it, and we talk to people and they want it. <laughs> we are trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just mm -hmm. we haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Everything we try ends up breaking something else, mm -hmm. and and you know, so that's a, that's one example right. of of, right. of the ladder. Right. Um, well, as much as I would love to keep <laughs> this discussion going for just hours, because of course <laughs> I have all the answers. I, I, um, everyone does. <laughs> we're out of time. Um, I, I want to thank you, Luca, for spending time with us, and um, you know. Uh, if you need help fixing that immutability thing, I'll give I, you a card. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for podcasting with us. Remember to visit the On Microsoft Resource Center where you can access recommended reading, special offers, and more at informit.com slash Microsoft Center. Be sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode. Brought to you by InformIT the trusted technology learning source.